The American college system has been a fertile breeding ground for golf's brightest young players. And at the Annika Intercollegiate, a dozen of the top women's programs in the USA gathered at the Olympic Hills Golf Club just outside Minneapolis. The University of Arkansas won the team event, one of several tournaments run by Annika's foundation. This is our fourth year, so it all came with Haskins Commission, came to us really and asked us if we were willing to, you know, help them support an initiative to celebrate, you know, one of the best collegiate female golfers, uh, you know, Division One. And I said, I was thinking first, you're right, there is, there is no such thing. And we certainly need to celebrate these young ladies. And then one thing led to another, and then we decided, well, why don't I have a tournament? You know, college golf was a big part of my career. And, and again, how can we find initiatives to inspire these young, young players? So it's just, you know, obviously grown from strength to strength every year. And, you know, I'm very proud of the tournament. Obviously now we have a new venue moving from Orlando to Minneapolis and kind of the plans we have moving forward for, for the players. But it's all about, all about having a good field. And, you know, we'd like to just uh, make sure that they have a wonderful experience, whether it's a golf course or just top-notch field. Uh, and also, obviously, for me to be here and interact with them, do clinic and kind of share my passion for the game that we have. And, you know, we certainly wouldn't be able to do that if it wasn't for 3M and their support. You know, it's pretty special to, to be a part of a tournament that Annika's putting on because she's basically the best female golfer to probably ever live. Um, I'm sure it's arguable, but um, it's pretty special to be invited. They try to make it the number one tournament of the year as far as strength of field. So anytime you get an invitation here, it's, it's very special. Anytime you can not only have great golfers participate in an event, but you also have the the, the girls being a part of it, them feeling like it's something special is a great thing. Just because it, golf is one of those sports where you've really got to be kind of your own boss and, and you spend a lot of time by yourself and, and as females, we don't like to do that. We like to be a part of, of teams a lot of times. So if the girls can get out here and, and realize how much they love it and how much they can, they can be successful on their own and learn that at a, at a young age, I think that only bodes well for them to keep it up in the future. It's really cool that Annika can have events like this to support, you know, college women's golf and junior golf. Um, it's definitely growing the game, and that's ultimately what we want is to continue to grow the game of golf. I think the Annika Invitational was like my second or third AJJ Invitational when I was younger, and it was an incredible experience, you know, getting to interact with Annika herself. She's such a role model to women's golf and we all look up to her so it was really cool she put on clinics every year and every year she had something new to say um, always great insight into golf and yeah I look up to her all the time hopefully one day you know I can achieve the things that she's achieved in her career and I'm just really excited to be here to have Annika's foundation and her tournament and, and to come up here and host probably one of the most prestigious collegiate women's tournament in the country, I couldn't be more excited. And I, I know our whole staff is over the moon on this. It's uh, a great opportunity to showcase our golf course. It's essentially a brand new golf course. I, I just hope that the girls enjoy it and that, uh, that we do a good job for Annika and her team. You know, we're celebrating our 10 year anniversary so, you know, obviously very excited what we have achieved so far and, and very even more positive about the future and uh, the things we're going to be able to do to inspire the next generation. You know, I just want these girls to have an amazing experience and, and be able to live the dream that I'm living. So, you know, it's all about giving back to the game of golf, especially inspire the next generation of girls and you know, give them opportunity to play and, you know, interact with other friends, interact with, you know, other coaches or or whether it's just you know players from other countries and just kind of get an amazing experience to to keep that excitement about the game of golf but also you know make them better inspire them and, and give them some pointers to improve as whether it's golfer or as people <laughs>